Welcome you. We're back again in tonight's video. It's a rematch from last year's game. The number six Notre Dame fighting Irish is our next opponent. We lost him last year. Um, at home against the Irish. Um, they took it to us last year, but we're looking to redeem ourselves. Uh, come off a big win in our last outing. I know we didn't have a dump in a while, but we're going to get back to it. Uh, come off a big win against FCS Southeast, 34-7, last matchup. Our last three games, we are... We have won three of our last four games, including wins over to Florida, Tennessee, before losing to Michigan at home. Um, and a uh, losing effort, but got uh, back in our winning ways against FCS Southeast. Looking to win two straight against a top 10 Irish. Looking to end their undefeated season. We have four more games left. We got Notre Dame today. Then our next video will be home against number 21, Oklahoma State. Uh, then the Florida Classic between Florida A&M and, and Bethune Cookman. And then our last game of the regular season will be a home date against FCS Midwest. So, that's the remainder of our schedules. Let's go hop into it. Of course, we're dealing with a suspension. And it's James Jones, our backup. He's suspended for two quarters. Let's see what James has been suspended for. Uh, this report showing that Jones broke for curfew recently. Let's send a message to the team that this will not be tolerated. We're actually going to suspend him longer than two quarters. We're going to suspend him for two games. So, James Jones, our backup, is out. So, we just have to go. You know, we got Johnny White as a starter. Our transfer for Georgia Tech, he's, he's ineligible for the season. And our backup is suspended for two games. So, we have to just get ready to go what we got. If Johnny gets hurt, well, we'll have to figure it out as we go. So, we're all white. And we get ready to take on the sixth rate Notre Dame Fight Irish. We come in the game ranked number 38. So, if we win this game, it's a possibility we could be ranked going into week number 13. All right, we won the toss, as we usually we always kick it off to the opposing team. Notre Dame will get the football first. Here we go. So you're ready for kickoff here in South Bend, Indiana, home of the number six ranked Notre Dame Fighter Irish. So here we go. Number 18 on the return. And get up about to the 20 yard line, 29. And here comes Notre Dame. Jimmy Clausen, who beat these Rattlers last year in Tallahassee, let him go 2 0 against Florida AM. Clausen, Josh Smith, first pass of the game is caught by the tight end, and he'll get a yard on the play. Last year, Clawson had a field day. Tallahassee, family looking to be better sound defensively against this aerial attack of Notre Dame. Clawson drops back. Second pass of the game was complete and a first down. About to gain about 12 on the play. And out to the to the uh, Notre Dame 41-yard line. The move the chains on second down. So it'll be first and 10 at the Notre Dame 41-yard line. Clawson under center, one running back in the backfield. And he'll run a counter, and FAMU, whose run team has been sensational all year, shuts down the running back, he'll lose about two. It'll be second and 12 for the Irish. FAMU coming in with a top five run defense in the country. It's going to be very hard to run against this front seven of Florida a &M. Uh Split back backfield for the Irish. Counter play to the running back. It'll get back to the line of scrimmage and nothing more. It'll be third and 12 for the Irish at their own 39-yard line. They have to get to the about the 48 of FAMU for first down. So, third and 12 for the Irish. Notre Dame with three wide. Single backfield. Cost and Josh back. Under pressure. Has it been over the top. It is caught. 
first down right in between the corner of the safety. And Notre Dame is in Rattlers territory at the 35-yard line. Big pass play for the, for the Irish to move the chains. So the first and 10 for Notre Dame at the Florida a 35-yard line. Shotgun set for Clawson. Clawson hits to the running back. Try to find real estate and he'll get nothing. Back to the line of scrimmage. Nice tackle to play by the FAMU defense. So it'll be second and 10 at the Rattlers 35-yard line after a gain of nothing on the run. So Clawson in the spread. Three wide. Changes the play at the line. Clawson drops back. Throws a pass on the wheel routes complete. And a first down to the 24-yard line. A pickup of 11, and Notre Dame is moving the chains for the third time on this drive pretty easily through the air. So it's first and 10 at the Rattlers 24-yard line. Claus is under center. 2.44 left in the opening quarter. Notre Dame was driving play action. Looking. Has a man open against a tight end. His third catch of the drive. And it results in another Notre Dame first down. A pickup of 10. And Notre Dame was right outside the goal lines. First and 10 at the Rattlers 14-yard line. Very solid start for the Irish on the opening drive. I formation for the Irish. Cross and draws back under pressure. And it's how they drops it. It'll be second and 10 at the 14. And he can't believe he dropped the pass on that one. He definitely had his matchup beat. So it'll be second and about 10. With 218 left in the opening quarter here in South Bend. Rout was looking to get the Irish off the field. And hold it to a field goal. Notre Dame looking else otherwise. Cross and Josh back. Has a man almost intercepted by the All-American Shiloh Sanders. And he drops the pick. And it'll be third and ten. Good coverage there by the All-American corner. Who played safety last year in this game against the Irish. Moving to the quarter slot. So it's third and ten for Notre Dame. Rattlers looking to get them off the field on his third out attempt. Play action. Clawson breaks a sack. He goes down. It's Charles Malone. The freshman linebacker takes him down and down in the Notre Dame drive. Now I'll bring out the kicking unit for about a 35-yard kick. A good stop by the Rattlers to get Notre Dame off the field. Finally, some pressure coming to the Notre Dame signal caller. He'll go down for his first sack in the afternoon. So the kick about 35 yards once again. Looking to give the Irish a 3-0 lead. Kick is up and it's blocked. It's a fake. And he goes down. FAMU snuffs it out. And the Rattlers will take over at the Notre Dame twin, at their own 24-yard line. Great job by the FAMU defense and special teams to snuff out the fake field goal attempt. And we're still not up as there. So here comes Johnny White and the FAMU offense on their first drive. White calls a quarterback keeper, and he'll get about maybe a yard. And it, he'll, he'll, he will get registered for one yard. It'll be second and nine after the one-yard quarterback draw. Gets very loud here at South Bend. Five wide for the FAMU offense. Lucky. Lucky. Dangerous pass and is intercepted. White throws a dangerous pass and a triple coverage. He was looking for his target, and he throws field position after White is struggling the second half of the year with turnovers. And it's now first and 10th, FAMU 22 after the interception. Can Notre Dame answer with points? Clawson looking, clean pocket, under pressure. Has a man, it's intercepted. FAMU gets the football back on the pick. And FAMU with a, with a breath of life after a dangerous pass by White. FAMU gets the football back after the pick. And they'll take over at the old eight-yard line. So the Rattlers looking to get something going on up in the drive after the pick throw. White, real play action. White looking. Incomplete. 
intended for McKinley, the tight end, and it'll be second and 10 at the 8. Minute 13 left in the opening quarter. Fairview and Notre Dame meeting for the second straight year. A classic down there South Bend in Tallahassee last year. White looking over the top for Douglas. Incomplete. Nice coverage there. We third and 10 for the Rattlers. White is 0 for 3 passing with a pick. So, it'll be third and 10 at the 8-yard line with a minute 8 left in the opening quarter. White drops back. White can't get rid of it in time. He just better get rid of it in a 3 and out for FAMU. Bring out the pudding unit. Good cover, good pursuit by the Notre Dame front 7. And FAMU will point from the shadow of their own end zone. 106 left in the first quarter. Fam, you put it for the first time. Good hold, good snap, solid punt. And he'll fair catch it inside Fam, territory around the 43 yard line. That's where the Irish will take over for their third drive of the game. The first drive ending on a fake field goal attempt that was snuffed out by the Rattlers. Second drive was a pick in the end zone. So close out for his third drive in the opening quarter. Still not at zero, but in good field position. Clawson, play action, looking, fires his right out. First down by the gate of 11. And they'll get to a 32-yard line. The completion by Clawson to move the chains. 50 seconds left in the opening quarter. We're tied at zero here in South Bend. But Notre Dame is on the move. First and 10 at the Rattlers, 32. Clawson, looking, has a man, overshoots the wide receiver, and it'll be second down. Had a man on the corner route, did hit him, and it'll be second and 10 at the 32-yard line of FAMU. 38 seconds after the first half, first quarter, Rattlers showing blitz. Our formation for the Irish, counter. Corrals the running back for a gain of two. It'll be third and eight at the 30. From here, we got a 47-yard field goal with 26 seconds left in the first quarter. Uh, Notre Dame in the shotgun. Both running backs in the backfield. Clawson rolling. Has a man over the top. Over shoots the coverage downfield. And FAMU will end that drive. They'll call it kick unit again for the second time. This one from 47. And hopefully they're not running the feet this time. And they try to get the first points on the board for a long kick. From 47. Right down Broadway Street. And the Irish takes the early lead. Which is 10 seconds left in the opening quarter. The 6 rate Irish lead the Rattlers. 3-0 on a 5-play, 13-yard drive. Capped off by a 47-yard field goal. So you have the Notre Dame find Irish uh, 3-0 lead over the Florida a and Rattlers. On a return, he'll get him up to the 30-yard line. And this will say will take over for the third time of the quarter. White is 0-4 for 4 passing with an interception. So here we go. Three high safeties for Notre Dame. White, play action. White under pressure. He goes down. White is sacked. And down in the corner. Notre Dame taking a 3 0 lead going into the second period. After White was sacked for a loss of 13. Notre Dame put in the pressure as he couldn't find open man at all. So second and 13, 23, I bet, for FAMU. Why under pressure is a fumble. Recovered by the Irish at the 10-yard line. White was sat and was stripped. And the Irish set it up first and goal at the 10-yard line after the strip sack. So what can Notre Dame do to add on to the 3 nothing lead? So 
Split backfield. Quarterback drops back. Finds a man. Touchdown. Notre Dame adds on to their lead. He has Shiloh Sanders looking silly on the play and throws a dart to the back shoulder of the wide receiver. Takes it in 10 yards. And the Irish looking to make it a two-score lead with the extra point. Extra point of the way is good. So with just over four minutes and 50 seconds left in the opening half, Notre Dame has a 10-0 lead. After a 10-yard touchdown pass by Jimmy Clausen, set up by the strip sack by the Notre Dame defense. So they kick it off to Charles Douglas, who's been quiet this first half. He's a team leading receiver. Douglas on a good return. Douglas out the seam. And Douglas gets Fabio in a great field position around midfield. A great return by the true freshman for Cairo, Georgia. Douglas sets up Fabio in a best field position in the afternoon. What can Fabio do with the great kick return by the freshman? White struggling. He's 0 for 5 passing with a sack and a fumble. White. White under pressure, almost thrown another pick. As he hit as he was throwing, and it'll be second and ten after the incompletion. Second and ten for FAMU. White has failed a completed pass on this drive, in this game yet. Notre Dame shows blitz. White under pressure again, and he just gets the football away. Almost sacked for a third time in this game. It'll be third and long. Back at the Fabi 49-yard line. Five wide for White and company. Looking to convert on third and long. White drops back. Looking, finds a man is Justin McKinley, the freshman tight end. And finally, Fabio gets inside Notre Dame territory. A huge pickup on the play. He threw a dart in there on third and long. And for the first time, Notre Dame converts on third down. White completes his first pass. And Notre Dame is in, Fabio's inside Notre Dame territory. What is the Rattlers going to do? White, look at his own. Incomplete. Second and ten. Fabu at the Notre Dame 30, 28 yard line. Looking to get some points on this drive. Really loud here in uh, South Bend. White under pressure. Intercepted. As he hit as he throws. Picked off by the linebacker. And another promising drive by FAMU ends with a turnover. The third turnover of the half. Two picks and a fumble for Johnny White. And with James Jones suspended for two games for missing curfew, they are very thin in the quarterback position. So it's first and ten after the interception for the Irish. Pass complete. A jump ball. And it's complete for about a pickup of four. And Fabi, who had a promising drive, once again sold by turnovers in third of the half. So, what can Fabi do? Down two scores and back on defense. Three down live and four to Rattlers. Quarterback drops back. He's going to run a quarterback dive. It'll be about a pick about two. It'll be 34. Nice pursuit by the FAMU defense. So what can FAMU do on third down to stop this Notre Dame offense and get their defense off the field? The defense has been on more plays than the offense. 34. Looking to get a stop. Quarterback drops back under pressure. Has a man in his complete water one coverage as a first down for Notre Dame out to the 43 yard line. And another first down loud by this FAMU defense through the air. 
Three minutes left in the opening half. Fam, you down 10 nothing, And Notre Dame is driving. Cross the Johnson well, under pressure off his back foot, complete for about a pick of about three. It'll be second and seven after their own 46. 243 left. Clawson looking real precise in this game so far. Despite the one interception, he's looking pretty good. Clawson throws a swing pass and is a complete overshoots the running back. And it's now third down for the Irish. Fam, you looking to get a stop to get the football back as they'll get the football to start the second half, but they got to get the offense going. Very mediocre first half for the Rattlers offense. Third down, under pressure. Is it complete? And Fam, you gets the stop they needed to get the football back in the offense hands. Good job by the Rattler defense to take Jimmy Clausen, the Notre Dame offense, off the field. It'll be fourth and seven at the 46. And Fabu set to return the punt. Nice hold, nice kick. Skyrocket punt. And it'll field at the 30 yard line. So that's where Jimmy, Johnny White, and the Fabu offense will go to work. Down two scores. But looking to get some kind of some kind of offense going. With 225 left for the opening half. White back in shotgun. Four wide. Trips to the right. White runs the screen and is snuffed out by, by uh, Notre Dame. It was intended for Justin McKinley and it'll be incomplete. Second now, White is one for six passing with two interceptions. Douglas has not had a catch yet with one target. White under, under shotgun. Has his man wide open, one-on-one coverage. Has him, and we just talked about him. Charles Douglas makes an impact. Huge completion by from freshman to freshman. And fan in business inside the Notre Dame 25-yard line. White drops back. Over the top to Douglas. Enzo cannot keep his feet in bounds. It is incomplete, but it's a penalty on the play. Let's see who's it on. It is on Notre Dame, but it's all sides. And Fabi will take the five yard penalty. It'll be second, first and five for Fabi at the 16 yard line. Big completion from White to Douglas. Fabi finally getting some kind of momentum going. White finds his man, but Notre Dame is all over it. As as the receiver cannot haul it in, cannot get anything going. They'll lose the five yards they had from the offside. So it'll be second and ten after the five yard loss of the screen. White looking fires a man first down. That is to number eighty five on the play, and they'll pick up a first down. Their third of the game, pick up about I want to say twelve of the play. Fair music business. Quarterback drops back. White, under pressure, can't find a man. He goes down for the third time. A loss of 10. And then back at the 20-yard line. He had him in the end zone, but couldn't find him at all. And he'll go down with the sack. White, lucky, has a man complete for about a pickup of 11. And it'll be third and goal. One minute left in the third in the first half. Notre Dame looking for a stop. White in the shotgun. White rolling. Has a man. Caught. Touchdown. Fan Mew. And they're back in the game. Simple drag route. One on one cut with the linebacker. White finds his streaky target. And Fan Mew is back in the football game with just under a minute of play. Nine-yard touchdown pass for Johnny White, his first of the game. After a shaky start, Fabian puts up a very good drive to cut into the Notre Dame lead, 10-7. On a seven-play, 70-yard drive, was capped, which was started up by the huge completion from White to Douglas to set him up inside the red zone, and White does the rest. Nine-yard touchdown pass as Fabian 
Down three, but a good return by Notre Dame. Still, well, all three timeouts. Out to the 42-yard line with 47 ticks left in the opening half. They could probably put something up. They increase their three-point lead. So 10-7, Notre Dame holding on to a three-point lead with the ball with 47 seconds left in the opening half. It'll be a play-action pass. Clawson is complete. Malone with the tackle. And it's about a pickup of about 13 on the play and a first down for Notre Dame. Timeout Irish with 43 seconds left. What a shot thrown downfield. Clawson having a really strong arm. Threads and in between this linebacker and the safety. Quarterback drops back. Clawson is sacked for the second time today. And Notre Dame have to burn his second time out. Good tackle on the play. Pushing him back to midfield with 39 seconds left. Third, second and 15 after the sack. Fabian playing back a little bit. Quarterback drops back. Has a man is almost intercepted. Almost throwed his second pick of the game right into the safety's hands, and he dropped it. But it's 30-15 for Notre Dame. Another dropped interception. Shiloh had one earlier, and then number 24 dropped a sure pick. But it's third and long for the Irish. Looking, has time, has a man, is intercepted. This time, the All-American Shiloh Sanders comes up the pick, and he dropped this one. Seconds left for FAMU, and with their high-scoring offense, they get downfield in a hurry. All three timeouts for Johnny White and his offense. Big interception by Shiloh Sanders, and they might go big on this with five wide. And they're going to take a shot downfield. White looking for Douglas. Incomplete. Just to have enough touch of the ball to keep it in bounce. And it's second and ten. 25 seconds left in the first half. Fam, you down three, but they have the football with three timeouts left. They come back out with five wide. White. White looking for Douglas. One on one coverage, and he overshoots him. Try to go out with the one handed circus catch. Could have hauled it in. And it's third and ten. What is he going to do on third down? Trips to the right. Douglas on the island. They surely miss it. J- Jimmy Horn still suffering a suspension. White drops back. Looking over top for Douglas for the third time to drop. This time he holds it. He'll take it against this. Touchdown, Rattlers. Charles Douglas, a freshman out of Cairo, Georgia, hauls in the 67-yard touchdown pass at Notre Dame. Is down for the first time of the day. Fabu takes the lead with 12 seconds left. White back to back touchdown passes after a slow start. And Fabu has the lead on the number six team in the country on the road. It is 14 to 10 after the extra point made by Dunn. And just like I said a few minutes ago, Fabian get the football downfield in a hurry, and they did it. Three plays, 67 yards, and a 67-yard touchdown pass to Charles Douglas, who was the team's leading receiver as a true freshman. Makes it a 14-10 game with 12 seconds, 12 seconds left in the opening quarter. In the opening half, I mean, a return of about to the 36. With nine seconds left in the opening half, Fabian with the 14 to 10 lead over the number six rate Irish. Both quarterbacks have thrown two picks in this game, but Johnny White started to feel it the last two drives. Clawson looking, looking for a man. Come back around. He drops it. Had it in his hands. Could haul it as he's trying to make a move. And he drops it. And it's down to four seconds left in the first half. Fabian is going to play prevent defense. And they want no funny business from this Notre Dame offense. Claus and Josh Matt final play the first half. Five, oh, looking for the tight end is incomplete. Did not do for the first half. What a first half. Actually packed football throughout. The number six rate Notre Dame Irish down at half. 14 to 10. Fabian with the lead. 
Fabio will get the football to start the second half. Let's look at the first half numbers presented by EA Sports. It has pretty much been even. Uh, Notre Dame, only 98 yards of offense. Clawson, 11 of 22, 111, a touchdown, two picks. Uh, Johnny White, 7 of 18, two touchdown passes, two picks. 165 yards to the year. Only 138 yards for Fabio offensively. 98 to Notre Dame. Some, see, something got to give in the second half. A bit of stalemate for most of the part, but Fab, you got the offense going the last three minutes of the half. Then they have a 14 10 lead. Enter the second half. Douglas, who had a 67 yard touchdown. And a good return by Douglas. The speedster from Georgia making a beautiful spin move down the sidelines. Touchdown. And uh oh, there's a penalty. That could be huge. It could be coming back. And it is holding. So the gate, the touchdown, the penalty was on Justin McKinley, the tight end. So instead of being a 98-yard touchdown, Fib, you have to start at their own 18. So a tough break for the Rattlers. A touchdown that was on the board it has to be taken off due to a holding fraction. So it be first and 10 for the Rattlers at their own 18, negating the touchdown. White in a shotgun, drops back. Looking, tough pass. Had two wide open men looking for a deep shot in the post incomplete. So that'll be second and 10. White is 7 of 19 for 165 yards, two touchdowns, and two interceptions. White in a shotgun, drops back. White rolling. Has a man over the top. It is incomplete. Looking for pass interference. Won't get it. Third and 10 for the right of offense. White is out 7 of 20. Could be only 35% of his passes so far this afternoon. But it's third and 10 for the right offense. Looking to get to the 28 for a first down. Looking at another dangerous pass is intercepted. Third interception thrown of the day by White. He was looking for a receiver in the middle of the field. The linebacker sat on it and thrown his third interception of the afternoon. So now Fabi has to place a uh, spoiler on this drive. Only go to a four-point four lead. Notre they looking to take the lead on this drive in short field at the 17. Clawson. Looking. Has its full back in his first and goal at the three-yard line. Actually, the four. Pick with 13 on the angle route. And Notre Dame looking to take the lead on this drive for a pick by White. First and goal at the four-yard line. Jumbo set for the Irish. Wide receiver in motion. Clawson drops back. Under pressure. Has a man and he throws in the dirt right to a wide open man. Second down and go at the four yard line. Had to be wide open. Got pressure and threw at the dirt at the feet of his wide open target. Single back wide receiver. The single back running back on that play. Toss play. Fakes the toss and he goes down for the sack. So a loss of four and Fib you. Looking to stall this drive out. Third and goal, the eight, four of the Irish. A huge break for Fabio to hold a field goal on this drive. Below, showing blitz. Clean pocket. Has a man. It is almost intercepted. He threw a dangerous pass to two Fabio uh, players. Incomplete. So Notre Dame will take a 25 yard field goal. To cut the family to one. From 25, it's good. So, family lead is now down to one up in the 25 yard field goal by Notre Dame after set up for the interception by Johnny White. So, White and his team holding on to a one point lead with just under four left to play in the third quarter. Tony Prater on the kick return from the 10-yard line. Makes a man miss. 
keeps going and gets to the 30 yard line where Fabi will take over after the interception on the last drive. So Fabi with the football. They're all 30. Only on to one point lead. White in the shotgun spread. They'll head on to Evan Maxwell, the freshman. The freshman breaks loose and he'll get his first carry for about a pickup of 11. And uh, out to the 40. Good run by the freshman, Evan Maxwell, who have heard his name really all year since the first parts of the season. But a good run on the backfield that only was expected and he'll get about 10. They'll give it back to Maxwell. Maxwell makes a man miss. Pushing the, the pile for a pick of about almost 10 more. So about the tempo. It's off. Maxwell this time gets stuffed. Lost about three. And Fabius now facing a third and four. Good job. I know they stuffed up the run. Third and four for the Rattlers. White, that is sacked. He'll go down for a loss of eight, and fam, you will have to punt. Good defense by Notre Dame. Shoulder blitz coming untouched and taking down White for the fourth time today. So he'll put it from his about 28 yard line. They, they, they a good punt. He'll call a fair catch about the 25 yard line where Notre Dame will take over down one. Damn, you try to hold on to that one point lead with 226 left in the third. 14 13, Rattlers leading the number six team in the country on the road in jeopardy of losing their undefeated season. Counterplay to the running back, and he's met in the backfield. Probably back to the usual line of scrimmage, actually, and recorded for a loss of one. So it'll be second and 11 at their old 23 yard line. 2.14 left in the third. Eye formation for the Irish. Another counter play. This time, some space for the rebel. He fumbles. Fam, you this time forces a turnover as a running back take a shot and is recovered by the, by the Rattlers. As they get prepared to take over at the 33 of Florida of Notre Dame, a huge turnover by the Irish. Both teams with three turnovers this afternoon. Actually, no, Fabi with four with three interceptions and a fumble. Notre Dame with two picks and a fumble. They'll give it to Maxwell. Maxwell will get back to line scrimmage. Depleted for a loss of one. So the second and 11 for a family at the Notre Dame 34 yard line. Notre Dame showing blitz. Here they bring it to the house. They're going to take a shot over the top. He has Douglas and a dangerous pass overthrow the wide receiver. And he throws his fourth pick of the afternoon, overshooting the wide receiver about a good five yards. And Notre Dame gets the football right back. With Fabi's fifth turnover of the afternoon. And they'll take over at the six yard line. So far, eight combined turnovers between both teams. It's been a sloppy game here in South Bend. But Fabi still hold on to a one point lead. A minute 39 left in the third. Clawson stepping from his goal line. Under pressure. Looking. Rolling. Has a man and he drops it. Had a wide open for first down, but he could not corral it. Second down. At their own six, so they got to be careful. Facing one of the best front sevens in college football. Especially now to get to the quarterback. Here comes the blitz. Has a man intercepted. Claus's third pick of the afternoon. Threw it right to the linebacker. And Fabu with a chance to increase their lead again in good field position. What a sloppy game it has been for both teams. A total of nine turnovers for FAMU and Notre Dame here today. First and goal at the six-yard line for FAMU. Looking to add on to their one-point lead. Option play. White 
pitches it, fumbles, and it goes out of bounds after Prater kicked it. It'll be second and goal after the fumble. So it'll be second and goal for FAMU. Almost coughed up another opportunity at the lead. They're going to have to Maxwell. Maxwell breaks a tackle. And he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. So it'll be third down for FAMU. Only up one if they're in field goal range. So they don't convert here. It will be a, a ship shot field goal. White in a shotgun. White throws a quick pass and it's complete. They stuff up the screen and it'll be a three and out for FAMU. So they'll bring out the key unit and Dunn will kick a 21-yard field goal right down the middle. Looking to add to their lead to make him back to four again. From 21, right down the middle, and FAMU takes a 17-13 lead after the interception by the FAMU defense. Fourth turnover for Notre Dame, five for FAMU. Almost 10 combined turnovers between both teams, but FAMU hold on to a four-point lead after the chip shot field goal. Sideline kick and the returner gets about close to midfield, 47 yard line. And FAMU defense back on the field, holding on to a four point lead with just under 53 seconds left in the first, in the third quarter. And delayed handoff and about a five yard pickup. As they get inside, a seven-yard pickup. They'll get inside FAMU territory. It's about 45-yard line. As we close it down to three quarters played here in Notre Dame, FAMU still holds the back and forth turnovers in this quarter alone. Clawson sacked for the third time from behind. He get ready to unload it. He'll go down for a six-yard loss. With 22 seconds left to play in the third, it'll be third and nine for Notre Dame at their own 49 yard line. So you have to get to the 42 or 40 or four first. Here comes the pressure. Clawson looking. Has a man short of the first down yard line. The 41 yard line, I believe. And they have a decision to make as we start the fourth quarter. Fair Butte. Up 17 13 is fourth and two, and they're gonna go for it. Big fourth down for fifth for Notre Dame, and they're trying to convert here. Causing the spread option, he won't get it, and Fairview stuffle. Clawson, not the traditional dual threat quarterback, trying to make a make a play, and he fell short. And FAMU will take the ball over with just over under five to play in the fourth. Big, big turnover on downs for Notre Dame, and they trail by four in the fourth. So FAMU looking to play conservative with a four point lead on the five to play. They were headed off to the freshman. Maxwell, Evan Maxwell will get about a pick of about seven. So they're going to use him a lot this fourth quarter to ice this game and come out of here with a steal of a win. 4.45 left in the fourth. A pick of a seven on first down for Maxwell. White hands back up to Maxwell. Big hole for Maxwell. Maxwell down the middle. They won't catch him. Evan Maxwell, the little man, takes it up the middle. Touchdown. Florida AM. And they have increased the lead to now a 10 point lead. Evan Maxwell's longest run of the season 48 yards. And the hole open up at the Red Sea. And FAMU try to. Try to make this a two-possession game up 10. Done with the extra point. 
right down the middle. It is 24-13, Rattlers. FAMU has scored 20, 17 consecutive points after turning 13-7. to I'm mean, sorry. They outscored another day after we down 10-7 to 17-3. When it was trailing 10 to 7 in the second, but FAMU with a 24 13 lead over the number 16 of the country on the road. And they're on the ropes, so with 428 left in the game, down two scores, Notre Dame cannot afford to turn the football over the rest of the way. Big. Big touchdown run by Evan Maxwell. They crease the Rattlers lead. Clawson. First pass of the drive is almost pick six material. The third drop interception of the game for the Rattlers. And that was a house call. The Rattlers could convert on the pick. Both the linebacker and the corner both had a chance of taking that to the house. Let it be second down for Notre Dame. Dangerous pass by the Notre Dame quarterback. He'll drop back, second down. Clean pocket. Has a man and swatted down. Good coverage by the safety to make it third down. Notre Dame has been struggling this second half despite getting good field position on turnovers forced by the defense. They have had a hard time driving down the field this second half against his round of defense. Kudos to Family forcing turnovers and making it hard. For the Notre Dame offense, Clawson drops back. Third down, and he is sacked again for the fourth time this afternoon. But there's a penalty, and it will be called holding. Declined it to make it fourth and 14. And they're going to punt with 412 left. Time is of the essence. They got to get a stop on the next drive. Big time sack by the FAMU defense. And they're going to put it with just four minutes left in the fourth. Prater is going to return this one. Prater is going to return this one. Prater by take it to the house. Tony Prater said he got a put return for him. And he does. He'll take it back. Touchdown. Tony Prater, the true freshman, runs back a punt. He'll take it back to the house. A huge punt return for a touchdown. 65 yards in FAMU. You might have to put, might have put the dagger in this one. Now about 30 of 13 on the number six team in the country. What a second half surge by the FAMU Rattlers. At one point when they trailed 10 to 3, 10 to 7, they outscored the hours 24 to 3 since the second period when it was down 10 to actually when it was out 10 nothing. They outscored outscored Notre Dame 31 to 3 from the second period on out. So 31-13 Rattlers in complete command. What does Notre Dame have to do on their next shot of the fumble? And Notre Dame surprisingly recovers a fumble. That could have been the dagger if Family was able to recover that fumble. So this first and 10 down 18 with 344 left. And Notre Dame has to play full hard the rest of the way. And they're going to have an any chance of coming back in this game. Toss play. It's a halfback pass. Back to Clawson. And he is stuffed in the backfield. A uh, loss of five. Try to get, try to get Fabio off balance with a trick play, and the Rattlers is all over that. So second and fifteen after the halfback pass. Clawson has a miss picked off by the linebacker for the second time today, and that might have just done it for Notre Dame as Fabio recovers their fifth turnover of the night. Once again, FAMU defense rising to the occasion. With 319 left, that might have been an anchor. They're going to head off to Maxwell. Maxwell will get nothing. Probably a loss of the play. But if FAMU trying to be conservative the last couple of minutes of this game, holding on to an 18-point lead, definitely in control with a lot of breathing room. 
and hand back to Maxwell. Maxwell coughs it up. And Notre Dame recovers. Maxwell, who fumbles the football, gives Notre Dame a breath of life. Still trailing by 18, but gets the football back on the FAMU 6 turnover of the afternoon. 11 combined turnover between the Rattlers and the Irish. A very sloppy one here in South Bend. But FAMU up 18 despite the turnover. Play action. Looking. Has a man, but sails it out of bounds. Disappointed as he had the man downfield, but overshoots him out of bounds. Second and ten. Second and ten for Notre Dame. Quarterback draws back. Floats it to the receiver. And he drops it. So another drop. It's been a theme in the second half for Notre Dame. As their receivers are failing to call in the football. So it's third and ten for the Irish. 2.51 left. Third and ten for the Irish. Quarterback drops back under pressure, rifles it. Another drop pass by the receiver. The third consecutive drop. And it's fourth down and four. She has to stay on the field and go for it. So it's fourth down, probably the last chance for Notre Dame tonight. And they want to get back in this football game. Carlson under pressure. Finds the man, but is intercepted. Another second half interception. The third of the second half. The sixth of the game. As FAMU once again converts on turnovers. And FAMU gets the football back with 2.42 left. And that definitely would be would do it. Really no time left to come back from 18 down. Gonna hand it back off to Maxwell. It'll get about a pick about three. What a what a resounding effort by this FAMU team today. As they're getting ready to celebrate another big victory on the road this year against a top ten opponent. And they're playing conservative. They're going to hand it back off to Maxwell. He'll get up out of pick about one. So it'll be third and seven with 204 left. Get ready to hit the two minute warning here in South Bend. Under two to play. And they won't get nothing on that play. Notre Dame will call the timeout. They're going to get ready to punt it well outside the kicker's range. It's about another 15, 20 yards, maybe, but definitely out of his range. They're going to bring up the punt unit. They're going to run a sky punt. Fabu will feel it at the seven yard line. So, 30 yard punt. Fabu forces him at the row seven with a minute 47 left. Up 18. A minute 47 left at the row seven for number seven. Clawson rolling, rolling, rolling. Incomplete. He has failed to hit any of his receivers in this fourth quarter. Second and ten at the seven. With a minute 44 left in the game. Notre Dame down 18. And on the verge of be falling off the ranks of the unbeaten. Clawson. Josh back. Fires his safety blanket to tight end in the middle of the field. A pickup of 13 in the first down. They got to go no huddle. Clawson. Not to be found on that play. Good coverage by the family defense. 
second and ten at the twenty. Fam, you looking to go seven and three? I've become more eligible last week. Play action. Clawson has a man once again. He has failed to haul it in. Another drop by this Notre Dame receiver core. 3rd and 10 with a minute 26 left. Notre Dame with two timeouts remaining. Still down 18. Quarterback drops back. Looking, looking, looking. Finds the man, and once again, he can't haul it in. fourth down. So it'll be fourth and 10 after all 20. They don't convert here, and it's definitely, definitely over with. And they got to punt it. Fam, you not being fooled by the fake punt. They line up the punt. As they know this game is well out of reach with literally no time left. Good punt. Better return. He'll get back to the 41 yard line with Notre Dame. Knows this game's over with. They put the football back in favor. All I do now is run the last minute 15 off the clock to get another top 10 win on the road this year. Head off the Maxwell. Maxwell will get nothing. But when that touchdown run by Maxwell a couple of drives ago was definitely the driving force to a huge road win. Why in the spread Maxwell in the backfield? But give it a Maxwell. He'll get nothing. He'll lose the yard. So, with fan of you, definitely with this game in hand, they get ready to go to 7-3 and three after taking care of number 6 Notre Dame. Next week, they have number 21 Oklahoma State in action next week in, in, at, at the brag. Uh, final 25 seconds left here in South Bend, Indiana. As your family around is looking to win, their seventh win of the year. It'll be 16 seconds left. White quarterback speed option. Gives it a back swell. It'll be fourth down. A pick of about six for Maxwell. And they'll bring back out the punt unit once again. Final 11 seconds. Family brings up the punt unit. For the final time, is he ready to put it back to the with just under 12 seconds left? They put the football back, a line drive. No, they will call for a fair catch with six seconds left. As their quest for possibly a national championship is definitely derailed today at the hands of the FAMU Rattlers. Came in down 10 7 at one point, reeled off 24 points. Holding FAMU, holding on in the three. Pass is complete. Huge hit. Family pop and Notre Dame calls their final timeout with two seconds left. Let's get a seven. And Notre Dame looking just looking for a miracle here on fourth on second down. Looking just at pass with stats because this game is it's definitely over. Pass is dropped. But the theme of the second half for Notre Dame drops in the turnovers as we go to the beginning of this second, this fourth quarter. And FAMU upset complete as they knock off the number six team in the country on the road here in front of a sold out South Bend, Indiana Stadium here at Notre Dame Stadium. FAMU completes the upset. They knock off the Irish 31 13. Huge win for the FAMU Rattlers. Tough break for Notre Dame as they're trying to compete for a national championship. Definitely a sloppy field game full of turnovers. But fam, you survive. Outgaining Notre Dame 205 to 133. Tough game for both quarterbacks. 
Uh, Johnny White, 7 of 23, two touchdowns, and quite a bit of interceptions. And he actually he didn't complete no pass in the second half. He was 0 for 5 passing in the second half. But they ran the football fairly down the stretch. Both quarterbacks have definitely struggled in tonight's game. The white through four picks in the in the win. Well, Maxwell, his best efforts is week two. 14 carries, 78 yards, including the 48-yarder to ice this game away. Uh, Douglas, two catches, 116 in the win. So, congratulations to Fam. You huge win on the road against Notre Dame. They moved to 7 and 3. Notre Dame suffers their first loss of the year, falling to 8 and 1. So, Fam, not 7 and 2, I mean. They move on to Oklahoma State next week, which is a big time matchup for the Cowpokes as they. Travel to Tallahassee, Florida to take on the Rattlers at Bragg Memorial Stadium next week. That's going to be a fun one. Their last three games of the season are home games. Oklahoma State next week. Bethune could be the Florida Classic the following week and end the season at home against FCS Midwest. That was a final road game of the year. Family has some home cooking the last three weeks of the season as it looked to finish 10-2. Family with a big win. Notre Dame falls to number from six to twelve in the country. Oklahoma State moves up twenty third to nineteen. And another suspension done. The starting kicker is out for a quarter. Well, family will family will be in action. Tough break by. By Notre Dame, Fighting Irish are no longer unbeaten after suffering a setback against Florida A&M. With well, that loss, Notre Dame is now down to number 12. Look at the rest of the teams. Family number 26, so they could knock off Oklahoma State. They could be ranked for the first time in the Coach Prime. But I appreciate everybody tuning into the video, guys. Another upset completed by these Rattlers here. They beat Florida earlier on this year in the Swamp. They beat, now they beat Notre Dame on the road in South Bend. And now they got number 19, Oklahoma State, coming to town. If you're new to this channel in this series, like and subscribe for more information. And we continue to, for the quest for at least one national championship for Coach Prime and the Family Rattlers. We're now 7-2, get ready for another ranked showdown against number 19 ranked Oklahoma State at the Bragg. See y'all next video, guys.